Hey guys. Ooh, what the? What was that? <laughs> what voice was that? Hey guys, welcome back to my chicken. We having some tacos. We having some chalupa with some. Oh, this got a um, hard shell in the middle, a hard shell, and a plain chalupa. I forgot to put the salsa on, so we are gonna do that right now. Okay, okay, mind your business. Cause you know, if if the taco ain't sloppy, then what are you doing with your life? How y'all doing? Happy Saturday. <laughs> we are also gonna try the Dominita Mita Flaming Hot and Hot Honey Mustard Sticks. We're gonna see what that's about. We put some milk on. We had some caffeine free Coke. Make sure. Hey. I, miss, I be missing y'all, Chef. Let me make, give y'all some more. Some more. Yes, more. Yes, yes, boy. <laughs> making a whole video oh you can't reach the hot so <laughs> come get the hot sauce for your short sister and then she's gonna drag it drag it some more she can't reach it okay okay everybody relax i'm making a video y'all wanna be y'all wanna be i be okay this is the first time we ever been able to get the chalupa shell, so I'm very excited about this. And it's some nacho cheese in the middle. Okay, y'all ready? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Your girl is feeling a little. Oop, don't you fall off of there. Your girl. Your girl is feeling a little better today. Way better than I did. But, yeah, we on the men. Mmm. 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 And then I'm in the freezer. Mm. Oh. This is so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I got a little stick on it. Never mind. <laughs> I can eat tacos every day. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. What? Is this one? You brought two. I did, okay. <laughs> you got mine over here. Mm. We use the Nini Eats um, taco seasoning. The little bit I had left, I'm sad. I'm out. I need to order some. It's very delicious. Baby. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mmm. Mm. 
So, we're going to talk about Mia Copa, honey. This is a Tyler Perry movie. Do with that what you may. <laughs> this is, to me, it's a little different from his regular Tyler Perry stuff. But, um, it was starring Kelly Rowland. And what's the man named Kerry? Um, he fine, though. I don't fine know. Black man. Fine black man. With the waves. <laughs> mm -hmm. My hair is so big. Anyway. Fine black man with the little baby fro. Because that's how he was in the movie. With a beard. He was fine, y'all. He was fine. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so in, um, bird box. That was him. Uh, oh, thank you for telling me that because I couldn't remember where I knew him from. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. He's fine, though. He's real, real fine. Anyway, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. Mm. I love when I have a taste for something and it turn out good. Mm. They beat. Wow. Anyway, Kelly Rowland plays Mia who's an attorney and she's a defense attorney so she's supposed to be representing this the fine black guy <laughs> I'm gonna try to remember put his name on the screen anyhow so he's accused of uh, basically they were accusing him of murder but they didn't have a body okay all right now, I'm not going to ruin the movie for y'all because I want y'all to go watch it. The reason why I, and this is very, very Saturday, what I'm about to say. The reason why I wanted to see it even more is because I had an interview with yeah. Kelly Rowland. So is she? No. I saw an interview with Kelly Rowland on, what is that girl's name? I'm going to put it on the screen because something Boudrin. Shan Boudrin? Shan bitch. Anyway. She's like the sex expert and all this stuff. She interviewed her and, um, yeah, it... It definitely gave you a new light of Kelly Rowland. Now, I don't follow Kelly on, on the socials or whatever. I might see her on a picture here and there, but I don't follow her, so I don't really know any of her like behind-the-scenes stuff. So this was like a way to get to know her a little bit. Um, she was talking about you know, making a movie, how how they was filming the central sexual scenes because it's it's very adult okay yeah it was nudity do not watch it with your kids around okay it's very sexually driven um the reason why i think it's a little different for tyler perry is because of all the sex in it and the nudity and you know he's mr make Christian family movies. I don't, and I mean, he did. Christian? Kind of. But you know, he used to have the little Christian stage plays and story art. Anyway. At the end of the day, I think it was a little departure from what he usually does. Um, What was that, that one evil movie with the plot twist. I can't think of the name of it. Mm. And it had like the guy with the real bad uh, uh, high top fade. Oh god. Um, and I think his... Him? No. 
Yeah. It's on Netflix too. Anyway, so I feel like this was a little bit of the departure from what he usually does. And it kind of made me laugh because, you know, all these allegations and stuff he got going on uh, around the whole Diddy, um, uh, what's his face? T.D. Jakes and all of that. So anyway, so it was kind of funny to me that they had like this sex room and this like sex club and and it's very sensual and sexual and there's like a lot of heat. So my daughter already opened these. Let's taste these real quick. She was making faces, so I'm confused. That would look like it looked like a taco. Got a little cheese. This is flaming hot. hot. Okay, so. It's harder than the, um, what the taki is. Mm -hmm. But you know how you know those? The dynamites, the, the, the Doritos dynamites, yeah. is usually in a purple bag. But uh, that's what it is. It's just I feel like I need to dip it in it. The flavor is just changed. Mm -hmm. It's just okay. Yeah. It's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. It's like a little spicy, but not overwhelming. Okay, there it is. If you eat it for a while. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna eat these tacos, yeah. Cause you know, with this stupid virus, I ain't had no appetite. So this says mustard sticks. Now, where is that one rolled up? And this one look like French fries. This is the Dominita too. This look like a back on hot fry. I'm surprised you remember those. What you mean? I used to love those. TJ, get off me. Don't touch Mm. It's, it's giving that the mustard chips. You remember the mustard chips that gave you that kind of wasabi? Mm. Yeah. But it's got a tiny bit of sweet on it. It's good though. I like this one. Mm. I like this one. And then I like the little, the weird little French fry looking thing. Mm. I have to test them. Yeah. I would get these. Uh, there we go. Scooby. <laughs> From my bird fans. Mm. I like those. Mm. It's got a little bit of heat. Not crazy. It's called hot honey mustard. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Wavy ruffle chip. That really? I saw at Walmart. <clears throat> I can't remember if it was hot honey mustard or not. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Okay. Ooh. Definitely got a little linger and pepper on it, that's for sure. <laughs> Woo! So, yeah, I would, I would recommend Mia Copa. Um,. It had me until the ending. The ending was a little cheesy. It was a little cheesy. But the story was interesting. A lot of people said it was predictable. Kind of, not really. I kind of had a little inkling at one point. But, yeah, it, it, it had some twists and turns. Um, Kelly did her thing. Thank God. She brought her own wigs and stuff because her hair looked great. Her makeup looked great. Somebody said that she brought her own wigs. I feel like she did. She did a good job. And she played the role. And she, you know, um, there was a fight scene that was kind of like, girl. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now she was fighting Jay-Z, you know. That wasn't her. Oh, that was Beyonce. Beyonce is the one. She... You know, I'm yeah. You know, because you got sometimes. 
Don't eat me. Yeah, we both got some tablets. Anyway, let me eat this. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me know in the comments if y'all seen me or Cooper. <clears throat> let me know what you think about it. Again, it's on Netflix. It's a Tyler Perry movie. Do not watch it with your kids. <laughs> they just watch it with your husband, fellas. Watch it with your wife. Because it is some sensualness. It was some things. And, you know, I'm, I'm working on a book for adults. So, you know, it was getting me in that place. <laughs> and somebody I know, I ain't going to say who it was, was like, baby, I had to rewind that one part. <laughs> I ain't meant to know that. But you know, <laughs> I was with you, girl. I was with you. <laughs> Baby. Anyhow, I'm not going to make y'all sit here all day and watch me eat this um, tacos because I've been talking way too much. And I don't want y'all to be here all day. But we're going to finish this one. This girl got. <laughs> No, one time, well, let me not say too much because she over here messing up her clothes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ma'am, uh, sir. Jeez. <laughs> LOL. LOL. I should have brought a fork because all my stuff ain't falling out. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. That taco lead is something different. It's something different. You gotta get, you gotta get in there. <laughs> Remember that one time I beat it straight on? <laughs> Mama, I think about that every day. Because that is atrocious. Yeah. I think it was Geeky Girl that was like, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. The popsicle biting is the one thing. But that eating a taco straight on is you need to be locked up. <laughs> Seriously. And it's not no soft taco. It like, wasn't. You tore your whole junk up, didn't you? I didn't actually. I really didn't. I don't even know why I bit it that way, but it felt right at the time. <laughs> it hurt a lot of people, so Y'all bully her in the comments. Don't bully me in the comments. <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing. I'm not finna do that again. We gotta watch Aquaman 2. And there's a scary movie called Thanksgiving. Mm. We gotta watch that. And, um... I still haven't watched Equalizer 3. And what's that other it's dude? Awesome. It's on net on Netflix. Really? Yeah, I asked you if you wanted me to wait and you said yeah. You was gonna watch it with me. It was like a that month was, ago. Yeah, I was gonna say. Don't even worry about it. A lot has been going on. This fire, y'all. Glasses at booty. Right there. I'm watching nothing. I know. I only got mine on because my eyes look crazy. Be Ooh. I got this for me. I have so much stuff. Back here. Look at all that. <laughs> Y'all let me know in the comments if I should do duck nails or lipstick. Tell me, tell me. Put if y'all didn't hear her, please let her know if y'all want to see her do some duck nails or lipstick. Alright, snails. Uh, yeah, chime in, girl. <laughs> I know they're going to cute. 
they are, because you are very talented, boo. I have no doubt that they're going to be fine. I need another one. Mm. Mm. My son got the combines on. The combine. The con NFL combine right now. And these babies can ruin. Do you hear me? And they is really cute and handsome, too. <laughs> And they is young enough to be my child, so I'ma let it go. And <laughs> you got stuff all over your face and your mm -hmm. dress. Anyway, y'all, y'all check out Mia Copa on Netflix. Let me know if you already seen it, and if you gonna see it, gonna see it, baby. All I'ma say, if you seen the paint scene, then you know. <laughs> Listen, I'm single and I'm a widow, but I, my eyes ain't broke, okay? Yeah. I can I can appreciate beauty for what it is, okay? Okay. Ooh, child, we're going to finish this later. Uh, excuse me. Ooh, that was huge for the Burt fans. Don't listen, okay? That is hilarious. Did you get me? <laughs> If you're new to my channel, I'm official Jamia. That's dark and lovely, aka a neighborhood fat girl, aka my daughter or whatever. And I'm sure you heard my son as well. Anyways, and TJ around here somewhere. He under the table. Oh yeah, TJ under the table. Red. He's fine. Okay, I promise you, he's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to the ride of dice, y'all already know. Oh, please, um, check out my members that are in the description box at all times. So okay, go check out they fire channels. Okay, go support my peoples and tell them official Jamie is sent you over there. Okay, I'm gonna put Nene Eats um website in the description box. And if y'all live in the Las Vegas area, baby, she be making these jambalaya balls Ooh, with the hot Cheeto dust on the outside. Baby, if I lived over there, I would have me about three, four, five of them because they are looking so delicious and the reviews have been amazing. Shout out to my bestie, my internet bestie. Nene eats, baby, because, whoo, and go check out her channel, too, because her taco setups be so fire. Whew, she inspires me, y'all. Anyhow, thank you so much. I said that already. To my ride or dies, you know what I'm going to say. I love you. And new people, I love y'all, too. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'll see y'all on the next video. We probably gonna have soul food or something. All right, love you. Bye.